Alright guys, it's still May 5th today. We're finally getting a little bit of precipitation. It's just some passing showers, but uh, we'll take it. In this country, you never say anything about rain. Especially uh, nothing negative. It's coming from, uh, it's a pretty stiff west wind. So that's why it's raining here, but it's actually, you don't see it out my back window. We do have some inoculant uh, outside that maybe we should maybe deal with. So probably shouldn't get there. So we're gonna quickly stop here and uh, put a tarp on here. Ash is gonna put a tarp on as well. She's over there. Either put a tarp on or put an extra bag in. Let's get our shoes on here. Okay, so, Mike, why didn't we do this earlier? Ah, uh, well, you see, the rain's just been flirting with us all year. We didn't actually think it was gonna happen. Woo. So normally I only like, sorry, normally I only like to put one bag in at a time because sometimes inoculate bridges. But, if everything's been working pretty good, so I think I'll just dump that second bag in there now. Okay. There we go. We're gonna quickly open this thing up. Oh yeah. It's not supposed to happen like that. Speed. There it is. There's actually two, there's one here. Can you guys see that okay? There's actually one more under here. See this guy? One more. A little rope to take off. Great. Then you want to lift it up at the same time. Gotta do the Taylor Swift and shake it off. All right. <laughs> Put it back out over here. Thankfully, we parked the right way for this. and kind of squish it on my bags. I like to hit every button but the right one. There we go. Now there's always some lumps. 
as you can see. Hold on, I gotta readjust this camera just a little bit. There we go. So this is inoculin. So this stuff helps. Um, so in case you didn't know, and I'm sure you did, but pulses can produce their own nitrogen. They fixate their own nitrogen. Um, they produce little nodules. Nodules then fixate nitrogen. And all this stuff is, is to kind of help the pulses produce their own nitrogen. That's all it is, okay? Just bacteria, it's different rhizobiums. And lentils take a little different rhizobium versus say chickpeas do or soybeans, okay? Okay, now we got all this done. Let's lock up. See if Ashton needs a hand over there. That won't go anywhere. Grab our little remote. We have two remotes. This is just a little one for the bulk room. Turn the fan back on. Turn the remote off. And we're good. Okay, I guess we should just quickly take a peek, make sure everything looks okay here. Mike, I didn't think you could see it in the rain, buddy. I thought the fan's taking moisture and can plug up all your lines. All that is possible, especially with a high amount of fertilizer. But like I said, we're not really putting much fertilizer down because pulses fixate their own. So I'm not too worried. Okay, guys. I'm gonna call, call Ashton here. Uh, so far, she hasn't responded. If she's over there for too long, because she's working on it, uh, we will go over there and assist. Not that you guys can even to see through my dirty window right now, because it's wet. John Deere's do have side windows. Let's check it out. I don't know if that made it any better. absolutely boring. Oh, I like it. I can't watch this down a little bit. There we go. Ah, I don't know if that really did anything. Well, I guess you can see her a little bit over there. Okay, let's shift up here. Let's get seated. So we're all split up. So Terry and Jared are quite a bit farther north, like quite a few miles, and apparently it's just pouring on them up there. Try to you up there. You don't like it. Don't and uh, oh, I get the grass yard. I yeah, so, and Brian's up there a little farther. He just got rained out. Sam on the roller, which is Brian's wife, she just got know, rained out. We are the farthest south, so, so far it seems to be missing us mostly, so we'll keep yeah, going in, until we get rained out. Use the uh, windshield wipers here. Somebody's driving by, wondering what the heck we're doing. So, we do love moisture. Yeah. This is a yeah. good thing. Oh, it's, it's yeah. This is a good thing. No, we're not done, and that's okay. You never turn rain around in this country. Around as it down, that's what I meant to say. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I'll be there. The other guys are just trying to get coordinated to get out of the field. Uh, Jared just said over the radio, you, I didn't turn my phone on in time, but he can't even pull it up the inclines anymore. It's, he's been going so long in the rain that uh, he's just spinning out. And the other problem is, since it's not quite wet enough to take all the dust away, uh, it starts making your windows really dirty. There's inside our tanks. Tank or cam four is our inoculant. Uh, tank four is our FOSS. The other 
another tour seat. Also, I can meter out uh, my inoculant by pounds, so I can keep an eye on that too. I got weigh scales on it. Turn to pick up on the dirt there just a little bit. That's okay. I still see a little bit of dust coming out from underneath that room. Your packer wheels, um, those packer wheels right there. See how they're decently clean right now? Let's see if we get the winch away from here. Oh, that didn't do anything. That was bad. That was mistakes were made. Oh, mistakes were really made. Okay, here we go. Will you just stay up there or what? There. Um, see those packer wheels? See, they're fairly clean, right? Just a little bit of dirt on them. That's perfect. If you're in a lot of mud, they would start balling with mud. And uh, so if you were seeding a shallow crop, it could literally grab your little kernel, whatever you're planting, and start rolling it up on your packer, which is kind of counterproductive, really, if you think about it. Uh, and the second thing would be, as it's balling up with mud, it's actually lifting your opener out of the ground, right? Because if you have that much mud on your tire, well, your opener is going to be out of the ground that much. So that's also kind of counterproductive. These are things to be thinking about and watching for if you're gonna be seeding into moisture. I'm not too much worried about the Packers. Uh, our main concern would just be the moisture and uh, going down all these seed tubes. That would be our first concern, especially if you're gonna be in it all day. Also, another thing that can happen is all this stubble that you see. Yeah, um, it's good now, it's cut short, but as that stubble gets wet, it might not wanna go through the drill very good. Just FYI, which can also really annoy you. Okay, so we've been seeding in this drizzle for a little while now. Um, we're just going to step out here and just kind of check our runs and make sure everything is A-OK -okay, because we do not want to make a create work project and have to unplug some manifolds. Okay, guys, quick little note. I already took this clip. I'm inserting this clip in. Um, when I climb up on that drill and I pull off the top of that tower to see if I have any fertilizer coating in the top of that tower, please turn down your volume. It is going to get ridiculously loud. It's going to sound like a screaming, dying yak. And I do it twice. Once I jump off the drill, you're safe. Okay. It's just a nice, steady drizzle. So no balling, Did, we're not near wet enough for that. I don't worry about that. It's what it's looking like inside our lines. Yeah, see all the orange meat grinders, meat grinders. Yeah, so Let's pop a hose off or one of these towers and we'll take a look. We'll say we'll go to the we'll go to the very end one here. See if we can't slip on this wet frame. Do some drill parkour here. I'm gonna uh, open this thing up and hopefully don't get blasted in the face. Sorry about that, I was trying to show you. I think everything's still fine. So we're gonna, normally we'll start coating up. I think we're okay here for a little while. I 
think we're okay here for a little bit. We'll keep going. She'd step off this drill here, land on her head. There we go. We got water in our rims. <laughs> and my drill's dirty. And my tractor's dirty. Well, if it's going to keep a steady drizzle like this for uh, a whole heck of a lot longer, we'll have to stop. But maybe we can still get another pass or two in. Well guys, I think our rain is about over. We're, we're literally right on the line or not, but uh, so one mile, literally one mile to the north. That's where Brian is. He got rained out. Uh, and then another mile to the north of Brian, that's where uh, Terry and Jared were. And they, Jared said he could barely get his drill to the road. It was just all over the field. It was just a muddy, sloppy mess. Um, so looks like we didn't get that much rain. Just got enough to make our windows dirty, make our drill and cart dirty, make me just a little bit nervous, uh, but we're good. So we're gonna keep seeing here. Thanks a lot, and uh, you guys are freaking awesome. Have a good one. This is like my, I don't know if this is my second or third video. I'm losing track. I'm actually losing track of all the days, never mind how many videos I'm doing. And I just want to clarify something, okay? Some people are confused, thinking that I'm withholding videos from them, that I'm just putting them on Patreon. That is not true, and it is, well, it's just not, it's not true. Um, I have been taking so many stinking videos, up to three videos per day. This last week alone, I produced 14 videos. 14, 14. So normally I only do three videos per week, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. That's a full-time job. That's like a 40 hour a week, 35 or whatever I calculated it out at being. So I've been making, taking so many videos, I've actually increased my video output to try and take away some of that backlog to six videos. I've doubled my video output Monday to Saturday. And then I spend about 14 hours editing and uploading all those videos that I just taken on Sunday, okay? I'm literally working my ass off here. And why, why do you care? You don't care, but why? It's because there's so much going on during the seeding time, whether it might be raining, then there's, I'm like, oh, I wanna show you what happens if we get some rain, I wanna show you what happens to the drill, I wanna show you what to look for, I wanna show you what to be concerned about, to, uh, maybe it's power poles, whatever it is. There's lots of stuff going on during the day. I'm like, oh man, that's that's awesome. I can, that's awesome, awesome educational footage right there. So either I have to pick and choose and be like, no, nope, not gonna do anything with rain. Nope, not gonna do anything with power poles. Nope, not gonna do anything with long moves down the highway. Oh man, we almost ran a semi off the road. Holy crap, no. Nope not going to do anything with that. I'm already videoed out. I can't be doing that kind of stuff. I can't be taking that kind of footage. So that's the thing. This is a busy time. There's lots going on. I'm trying to take as much footage that I think that is awesome. That's good educational and humorous content. That's literally what I do. So you're just going to have to bear with me and you are literally probably 30, 40 days behind. So obviously the Patreon people, they're, they're up to speed. Why are they up to speed? Because I take lenses probably three, four, five, six, seven times a day. And I'm uploading pictures all the time. And I go all the way back to like, I don't know, I like toss back Tuesdays and throw back Thursdays and whatever we do on Freaky Fridays and don't even get me going on that. And uh, we go back years and say, hey, we actually start comparing different years and then we do two different polls. So obviously they're gonna be more up to date because I'm always uploading the stuff all the time, but they only see the video on Patreon. On Patreon, they see the video 24 hours before you guys see the video, so calm down. But they see it ad free. So uh, anyways, that's all I want to say on that. So once we reduce the backlog of videos, I'm probably just going to go right back down to three videos a week. Maybe I'm back down, take a break, and just go to one video a week or something like that. So just prepare yourself. What goes up must come down.